you know, we spent like almost three months practicing before we even did the first show. Um, we pre oh, wow. the first handful of shows. Um, but after that, we started doing them pretty regularly live. I mean, it was like the first 10 were like all pre-recorded, edited, put out. The rest were live. And then we re-edited them and put them back out. That type of using like, like much like, like charity's going to do with this content, right? I will, yeah, yeah let really me nice. do Right. And it's, it's a beautiful thing to be able to do. So we realized if we did both, it was a quick way to put some content out quick, but also still have that content for later. Um, but, you know, but as we were doing it, yeah, we were listening to it. But I'll be honest, there was was there really any struggle? No, I think it was just the getting comfortable with it. We um, we understood that we each like to speak a lot. So what we had to learn was and not really learn. It was actually pretty natural. Was just let them talk. Like Lou would be like, man, after listening, I talked too much during that. Dude, I, I wouldn't shut up. Dude, I did the whole episode almost. Right. I'm like, dude, it's OK. And, and, I, and I told him, that. I was like, dude, I don't even think about that when it's happening. What I'm doing is I'm literally it, maybe I'm sitting there and I might you might see me like Lou might see me go like in front of us. I have the screen and I might circle the time because we're getting close to time. But that's it. Like, I don't ever say, dude, you talk too much, because what I believe is that all he's going to do is get better and better and better. And he was killing it from the beginning. He has so much to say. Right. So I'm like, say it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and if it's if it's feels I don't need to speak because I don't even need to speak. But there's going to be the time where it's me. Where I'm gonna all of a sudden be like, I feel ya. And that's okay. You do it. Yeah, I know, right? We do that. But if and you, it's the, both the hype man effect, right? Right, but it's I fine. Have a hype man, he does. You let him be. Right. What I real, what I do know is that there's gonna be my time. There's gonna be his time, and I know that we're not gonna just do one episode. We're not just gonna do two episodes. Lou and I are gonna do a series and years and content. Just we're never gonna stop doing this. So why do I need to worry about speaking right now? It's not about me. The whole point of the show and the whole reason why we started it was to change the way people thought about the automotive industry. Right. I yeah. wanted people to come in and be impacted and 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 to feel uplifted, you know, and the whole reason what what I believe like is happening uplift. with the show. Right. But the struggle was just being confident. It was the struggle was making sure we had we knew where to send, how do we upload these things to make it a podcast? Where do we send yeah. it? Well, how much does that cost? What what is this? What's that? What does this even sound good? How do we tweak this? And you know. You, are we even talking about something people want to hear? Right. And, you know, in the, we went through all that, but it was great. I, we would literally, it, I would, Lou would leave here at like two, three, four o'clock in the morning sometimes after we sit here for a few hours of just grinding it out, recording things. And I would listen to it just kind of like getting ready to go to bed. And I'd start listening to it and I would listen to it. And then I'd call Lou. I was like, he's not home yet. He can't be. I call him. <laughs> Bro, this is golden. And I, yeah. <laughs> exactly this is gold we got something here and i remember yeah. just feeling that way like you'd hear it and we haven't even released any of that ever but when you i listen but i guarantee if i go back and i listen to the first three hours we ever recorded it's gold it's like really passionate stuff about what we want to do and it's like whew. and automotive knowledge right and I mean, the craziest thing is if you go back and you listen to a lot of that the dreams that we had came true the stuff just like god wants us to do he wants us to speak it wants us to do all these things That's and right. he said it and the interviews that i wanted to have happened the the where we wanted to go happened the places we it's all it's it's so crazy but the thing is just like i said earlier it's like we can, we you have to have faith but you have to put the work behind it and absolutely behind it and i mean i mean you're like almost to the point of like is it too much you know no. Get to the point of it's too much because it's not. 